Upper Valley, Idaho, what we saw is it was an opportunity that we had as a television station to run a local program that the local university produced from the students there. Um, it shows the different uh, businesses and different people of Idaho of the Upper Valley, which we really like because it actually showed um, or could showcase on the station um, kind of a local program and some of the local businesses. It's shown on our Now channel and on our CW channel as well. We have a team of reporters, about five of us, that have to uh, put together our own packages, our own stories about just people all over in the Upper Valley area. And they have to be feature stories, so feature length is about three minutes long. And it's really not a long time, but when you think about it, that's a lot of shots, camera angles, a lot of time and effort with an interview and whatnot. And I have to review the packages along with Brian Howard, and it takes a lot of work. Students who really want to be a journalist, a video journalist, uh, work in television, that's who's involved and that's who we want to be involved because the primary goal is to help them to build a demo reel to get a job. I like it because it's an opportunity for students to do something that airs locally. It gets them, uh, gives people a chance to get excited about something. It's not just something that's going to go on the website. It's not just something you're doing to turn into class. You actually have a real audience that has to meet a certain level of quality or they won't accept it. And so it gives you all those parameters. So it's more a reality check that uh, you, know, you do this show that actually meets the standards of a professional broadcast station. That's what I like about it. Their work has been seen by hundreds, maybe thousands of people in a broadcast environment. And that's a good resume piece because that says that the work is quality enough that some general manager at a TV station has said, yes, I'll put that on my air. As part of Upper Valley, Idaho, you get to meet a lot of different people and you get to learn their stories and find out their experiences that they go through and you get to learn more just about the, the land and about the, the people that make Idaho what it is. We actually record the Upper Valley, Idaho shows here in the Spory studio at BYU-Idaho and then what I do is I take the show and I edit it with all the stories and packages from each reporter and then it's my job to deliver those two shows that we record here in the studio to Local News 8 and then they get to review them and give the okay and then they figure out the dates that they want to air these shows. So in the anchoring process I will choose along with Brian Howard and John Thompson the ones that we feel would be the best fit as we actually air this and would, would look really professional on camera. And so many of them have either done scroll digital, the student-run uh, news programs, or they've been in my broadcast performance class, so they had some experience. But we don't just leave them out there high and dry. We actually coach them, uh, uh, Brian Howard and myself, with the script that they'll be using so that we can give them some insight in just how to deliver those particular um, scripts so that they'll be just what we want on the air. Anchoring for Upper Valley Idaho was so much fun. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be able to anchor with Matt. He's such a funny guy and he is just an amazing anchor. It was also a lot of fun to have Jay Hildebrand come in and to teach us how to become better anchors and to give us advice on that. And even Brian Howard, um, having him come in and to talk to us and get, also give us some advice on how to anchor was, was really great and so I feel like it was a lot of great experience and it was a lot of fun to be able to do that. What I really want is students who really want to do this as a career track. This is an opportunity for them to do some good work and to build their demo reel. It's the perfect experience, um, something you really want to put on your resume. I think it will definitely make you stand out that you have that experience, that your stuff has already been aired on TV, um, that you have the professional abilities to function. It's a lot of fun. It is fantastic experience. Um, and just go for it. I feel like it will really help you out in your future. And if this is what you want to do, then you should do it. This is a huge, huge step in my career that I want to go into. I want to be in television news reporting. so. For this opportunity to happen for college students is a huge and significant factor. I was on TV for the very first time when I was 20 years old. I just think this is just such a wonderful opportunity for both the TV station and for the students and the university to partner in something like this. That's a win-win situation for everyone. Very many can have the opportunity to do that, so we like to help and have the students have that opportunity to see it on broadcast television. It's a tremendous experience and a great resume building opportunity. We're trying to teach students at this campus to be storytellers. And this is a good opportunity for them to be good storytellers. And their work is reviewed by a producer and by a faculty person before it's allowed to be put into the show. 
it's a great relationship and I uh, hopefully more students will take advantage of it.